How do you like that? A little bit of little music for you. Um, would you believe I made that myself? Really? I just DJed that up in my DJ kitchen. I thought we were ever DJs to make. I want to welcome everybody who's coming and hanging out and watching this actual play for uh, Cthulhu Awakens. Um, make sure you check out the chat. We'll be dropping links and talking about all kinds of good stuff. But um, right now, what I want to do is talk about some pretty remarkable people. Hello, everybody. Hello. So as you can see, we've got Ian Lemke. He's our GM, and he's leading the four of us and starting with uh, uh, May. May, who's playing Ava. Oh, gosh, why do I keep Louvier? Louvier, right? yes. Yes, I love that. Love that. And then, uh, Joseph, you're playing Crycheck, and that's your last name because your first name is? Felix. Felix, and that's that's your character's first name. And then I'm Jason uh, Whittings, I believe, not not uh, Bob uh, Nasa, as I said before. Um, and <laughs> oh, then we I have, wanted you to be Bob Nasa. <laughs> and then we have Shoshi Green. You are playing Sophie. And what's your character's last name? Uh, Zella. Awesome. Okay. Now, Ian, I'm going to turn it over to you um, because I'm I'm really looking forward to getting in and just playing um yep. and not you're not being a community manager for a minute but you know um if i have to do some community manager duties i'm happy to do them and uh yeah so walk us through um and also do we want to maybe share a little bit of uh, background on our characters as well we kind of created them all together last uh, in our session zero yeah wh why don't i go through the the rules bit and then i'm gonna sort of i have, an, I have a little segue to you do uh, your thing Cool. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is just go over a brief uh, summary of the rules. Um, we're, we are using roll 20 on the side here for uh, for die rolls and that sort of thing. Um, but you all sadly will not be able to see that. But uh, your character sheets are all on there as well. Um, the as I talked about the, the last time, the it's a pretty simple system. Uh, it uses uh, Cthulhu Awakens uses the age system for those that are, that are familiar with it. Um, you roll three d six, and you add whatever whatever stat makes sense for whatever you're doing. If you're shooting something, it's accuracy. If you're trying to figure out a puzzle, it would be an intelligence. If you're dodging out of the way from something, it would be dexterity. So, and you know, that's, and then you add that number uh, and you're trying to hit a, a particular target number, which I'll usually tell you, you need target number, you know, you need an 11 or you need a 14. Um, <clears throat> in addition to that, uh, if you have a focus, a particular area of focus, such as if you have accuracy pistols, pistols being the focus, you'll get an additional plus two with with a, if you're using a pistol. Um, the great thing about Roll Twenty is it, it kind of builds all that in, so we can just click. You can just click on your focus, and it'll automatically add the plus two and, and your stat and everything. Um, so that's the general basic rules. And just uh, so you will all know who are playing here over in Roll Twenty, I did. I, you should see a tab that says under uh, the journal section where your characters are. There's a, a folder that says general rules, and you should all be able to see all of them. Um, if anybody can't see one, let me know. Basic tests, minor actions, major actions, making attacks, inflicting damage, healing, and rest. Um, so to go back to what I was saying there, with uh, if, if you're making an attack on someone, uh, generally you're using fighting or accuracy, and you're going against that person's defense. Uh, it, you see on your character sheet, you have a defense. So if an NPC is trying to attack you, that's the number they need to, to hit. Um, then you, if you are hit uh, or you hit someone, um, you inflict damage. Well, actually, you don't inflict it. You, you do a certain amount of damage. And uh, you have a stat called fortune, which is called health on your character sheets here because it's a generic age sheet um, but it, it, in the game it's called fortune and uh fortune 
can be used to mitigate that damage. So if you take uh, a certain amount, of, if you take uh, six points of damage, you can spend six points of fortune to not take any damage. If you choose not to or don't have any fortune left, uh, you take a damage condition. And we'll get to that if and if when it happens. We'll, we'll deal with that. And you go through a couple of damage conditions and then you're taken out. Um, you're no longer able to do anything until healed or saved or what have you. Um, you can also, well, we'll get into that later. Um, the one really cool thing about the age system is it encourages people to, it, it's kind of, it does work a little backwards from how some games work and it, you know, you're encouraged to give your description up front, uh, age, it sort of encourages you to make your, your description of what, you know, to, to say I'm attacking roll and then describe what happens. And part of that is because of the stunt system. When you're rolling dice, when you're rolling your 3d6, if any two of them are the same number, basically you get any pairs. And again, roll 20 is really cool for this because it, it automatically tells you that you, you get this, that you did that. Um, you get stunt points. And what stunt points do is, well, they allow you to do a whole array of things. Um, but anyway, when you have the, uh, when you when you have doubles uh, with any two numbers, um, you're then uh, there's a one die which is which is the drama die, and that die uh, is the number of stunt points that you get for your action. Um, again, you will see that there are. Oh, sorry. Um, you'll see that there, are, I also have a stunt folder. So if you want to look at the type of stunts, but just to give a little bit of an example, um, if you are doing a, an attack and you, you say you get two stunt points and you're, and you're, you're doing a melee attack of some, uh, some kind, uh, those two stunt points, uh, in melee would allow you to do a disarm. Uh, and and knock your opponent's uh, weapon out of their hand, or knock them prone, or do an additional d6 damage, or you know all sorts of things like that. And then you get you know things all the way up to spending six stun points, which means you automatically inflict a critical injury. You blind them, deafen them, or maim them in some way. Um, so yeah, there's a whole list of, of stunts for, and and they're not just for combat. They're for you know chase scenes, for exploration. There there's a list of general stunts that you can do at any time. To, you know, a lot of them are setting up to be able to do something better later on. There are also social stunts. So anytime you're you're in a social situation, uh, that you can get stunts to to help you further what you're trying to do, or convince someone of or what have you. Um, now, this uh, being Cthulhu Awakens, uh, there is also an aspect of the game which is called alienation. And uh, in Cthulhu Awakens, characters don't so much go insane as they acclimate and become a part of uh, the, the mythos. Um, you, you start to become a part of this, you know, of this, this cosmic craziness, uh, which has, uh, effects of making you appear insane at times and, and causing some negative effects, but it can actually give you positive things as well. Okay. Um, I think we, we were talking about, you know, just off air about bonds and how bonds work. And if a character has a bond to something, uh, you know, you say you have a bond with with your brother um, or another character even uh, if something is going on involving that that person that you have the bond with uh, you can just you just get stunt points to spend if you want you can just you know, if you have a, a, two, a level two bond you can suddenly just you know spend those stunt points um, it, if you if you fail alienation rules you get a terror bond which is not so good um, and, and allows me to do things to you, but you also get an enlightenment bond, which can be used then to learn more and and, and understand the mythos more, um, which might lead to more alienation tests. Um, but, uh, and things can eventually get out of hand. Uh, you don't, you know, you, having a couple in the first few you get might actually be a little bit helpful. Um, if you get too much alienation, then, you know, you can go off the deep end and not be useful to anyone. But we'll get into that more as we go. Yes. 
Sure. Oh, I just had a question. Um, and uh, um, bonds aren't just people. They can, can be also an organization. Be objects, even, even concepts. Yes, it can be a concept cool. too. Yes, cool. yes. It could be, yeah, it, it could be a code of honor or something along mm -hmm. those lines. Um, it, it, it can be really be cool. almost, almost anything. Yeah. There, there, it, there are, um, the age system has a lot of cool things like that, that I think that sort of help re support and reinforce your role playing. Um, and, cool. and remind you to, you know, to do the things your character does. Um, does anyone have any, I, I think that gives us enough rules to dive into, you know, into the game and get playing. Um, yeah. basically, you know, roll 3d6, add stuff. <laughs> uh, so yes, what I'd like to do is in, have you each go around and introduce your your characters. Um, but I have I have a little bit of work for you as well. Um, the story is going to begin in the coffee shop where Ava works, um, where she's currently employed. Uh, but we need to talk a little bit about how you get you got there. Um, Ava, Felix, oh, no, no, Jason, sorry, you, you're going by Felix, uh, no, yeah, sorry, yeah, yet. yeah, Ava, Felix, and Sophie, uh, had all it, it, it intended to attend this play, um, uh, the, the, I think we worked out that the Felix and, and Sophie were talking about it, Ava overheard, uh, and, and so they're, they're planning on going together, um, they've already sort of figured that out. Jason is sort of the, the newcomer to the group, wasn't planning on going to this play or anything. But what I'm going to say is he, you were flying in, he was flying into New York uh, to, to meet with uh, Krychek and, and Ava, you know, meet with this Team Spooky about the weird thing, which I'm sure you'll explain that you had encountered or seen. Um, I'm, team, I'm Team Oblivious, by the way. I think Sophie's yeah. team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But you're, you're, you you all were supposed to meet with him at the at this coffee shop about yeah. two hours. I ago. think, and he yeah. showed up late. He didn't get there till just before, uh, right when the shop is closing. And I'm like, can y'all hurry up? I have somewhere to be. <laughs> exactly. We're like, so do we. Wait, are we going to the same place? Oh so yeah, he got there just missed for. So Whoa. I'm just gonna say you and you um you you actually have an extra invitation. Uh, because one of one of Teen Spooky, uh, what, another member of Teen Spooky was supposed to be going, but they never showed up. So, you know, coincidence happens. Gotcha. Now, so right? no, I'm coming in a little late and I'm trying to meet up with Crycheck. You're trying to meet up to talk. I'm about not sure what's right, yeah. he's, he's like, we're, Hey, we're going to this play. Come along. Okay. Um, and then we'll talk afterwards. Okay. Um, oh yeah. By the way, Jason, in order to, to be part of team spooky, there is a sort of membership fee. Oh, of $26 and 99 cents. Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, do you, do you I mean, yeah. It, it's, it, it comes to cost of like faxing, uh, yeah. you know, background checks. Yeah. It, we, it, have a, it, we had a 1 800 number for, for a while. Yeah. It, well, it was and there's a t shirt that goes along with it. So, yeah, we yeah, don't need a t shirt. That. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, do you take a check? No, no. Okay. I don't have, okay, man. I have got like maybe five bucks on me. Um, uh, everyone takes a check. What do you, I mean, this is 1993. I mean, well, you know, you know what happens when you take check? a check. Your it's check a person. Okay. Oh my gosh. Do you guys not carry cash? Is that not like a thing? Like she's walking over. She's like, she's like, she's like holding a tea. Do you not, do you not carry cash? Is that not? Right. We need to back up here. You never gave your introductions. So yeah. Oh, that's right. We're we're right. We're we're right. We're we're right. We're All right. We're, we're in. Right in. <laughs> uh, we, 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 what, what the, what the, what the, what the sort of homework assignment is, is each of you give your character description and also how you manage to come about having getting hold of an invitation because they aren't just handed out to anyone now you may have just received it mysteriously in the mail and that's fine if you want to go with that but uh but if you want to go into more detail just just let us know how you managed to, to get your invitation and uh ava go ahead i threw money at it um so like i'm an inspiring <laughs> actress and I just completely just use my connections. Um, they may have been like an actress or here in the coffee shop. And I just slid them my little business card with gold leaf on it. And I got an invitation because that's what we do. We network. That makes we perfect throw sense. money. We give them free coffees. The Starbucks isn't really a thing. So it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> tell, uh, tell us a little bit about Ava. 
Okay, so Ava is from the South. She is an aspiring actress and went to Xavier University. She thought she was going to hit it big. Oh, I'm sorry. She wouldn't have had glasses. I'm blind, though. But she would have thought she was going to hit it big, and it's fine. And now she's a barista, but she lives comfortably because of mommy and daddy. Because if they could pay for an expensive private university, they could pay for her condo in New York. <laughs> So nice. this is her part-time job while she does auditions. All right. Crychuck. Felix Crychuck. Uh, Troy Chuck is a 26-year-old grad student. Uh, he graduated Mac with a master's from Miskatonic. And uh, his uh, he started out life pretty simple. His mom and dad owns a tire shop in Baltimore, Maryland. Actually, three tire shops in Baltimore, Maryland. And he went to school Thanks. for the be his, uh, history buff you know academic yeah, you know he's a fairly intelligent guy um but then something happened he uh he saw a bit of the darkness and from there it turned him into uh what some people consider a kooky conspiracy theorist but he knows that it's real he knows there's something behind the veil he knows that it's all connected and he's a very driven person so he uh got together with other like-minded individuals and um he started to uh make his own he, he started to make this group that's called team scoopy and he's not the leader but he's maybe a coordinator and uh they go investigate these happenings with a thesis that it's all connected and that's how he met sophie that's how he got in contact with jason and what and the thing with him is he had a girlfriend who, you know, you know, she was his his whole life. And then suddenly in the last month, she just went, you know, she was part of the group. She was just as committed as he was. And then suddenly for no reason at all, it seemed to him, she just like, this is crazy. We have no money. No one's going to hire us. I'm going back to Connecticut to go get a real degree and so forth. And she just left. And I sort of broke his, his uh, thing. And that's probably why he has an extra ticket to this event. Um, and Sophie I'll be is like plus his, one cry check. Right. And Sophie is like his sister, you know, his drug dealing sister. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that is, she's probably his closest friend right now. So that's where he's at right now. Uh, he got the ticket from, uh, from his contacts. And it's like, Hey, you know, this is something you might want to check out into him. This is probably the last one he's going to do. Cause he's thinking, I have no money. I can't pay for rent next month. I'm probably going to have to tell the group I got to leave. So this is like his last hurrah. That's it. Is it ne me it, next? It, yep. So she, no, go okay. ahead. <laughs> uh, I don't know if the boxes look the same on mine. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. I was just sort of going around. <laughs> uh, I'm Shoshi. Uh, I'm playing Sophie, Zella. They. Um, they were kind of a teenage runaway. Um, they're they're gay, and their parents kicked him out of the house. She was grew up in like upstate New York, Utica, and uh, kind of like ran away from home. Made her way to New York City. Didn't have a great time. Um, has some problems with heroin. She was in. She was basically at a, a really low point. She was squatting in a place. Um, she was super high and had a like a paranormal paranormal outer worldly experience uh, and probably would have either gone mad or died had not um, Felix and t uh, team spooky or club spooky team spooky team spooky thank you had not team spooky come in to investigate something and they found her they basically saved her life um, so she's and it was kind of a wake-up call she's like all right i'm gonna get my life together um and so now um she's trying to get a regular job but it's hard because like she doesn't have a high she doesn't have a degree she doesn't have anything so right now she's working as a courier <laughs> delivering <Yeah>. weed <laughs> 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 um so that's kind of her job um but it's actually it's actually a great job for her um and but you know she doesn't like the illegal aspect of it. She wants to really get her life right. Uh, I don't think she knows yet that Felix is leaving the group, but they are they are really 
they're close. Like I, she can probably feel that it's coming because you haven't made like an official announcement to the group yet, right? Yeah. And I was thinking if this works, uh, maybe the contact that gave you the ticket was me. Um, I have a friend who like, hmm, she might be my girlfriend. I don't know yet. Um, but she works <laughs> at like a thrift store downtown and I go there, like I sell clothes sometimes. So I was there chatting with her and this um, super weird artsy looking dude walked in and walked right up to me and gave me two tickets to the show. And I'm nervous about like, it doesn't look good to me. And I went right to Felix and I was like, what is this? What's going on here? So does that work? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> I've been thinking about it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's, that's Sophie. Works for me. And we have one final person. Yeah, I'm Jason Whitting, and um, I am a, uh, you know, I won't even say disgraced so much as embarrassed um, NASA scientist who, um, you know, was working on the Mars Observer project. And that, you know, 1993 is the year that the Mars Observer, we lost contact with it, um, and the mission was a failure. But I was monitoring what was happening, and I was there as sort of the um, you know, kind of leading that effort and supporting, you know, all the scientists and all the people who were paying attention to what's going on. And when the Mars Observer went off the radar, um, I, I saw something like something otherworldly, something, you know, that, that sort of, it was a, it was a paranormal cosmic kind of experience. And, and I am convinced that something happened. We found an alien found us um we you know interrupted some kind of uh, alien uh activity but but the intensity of the sort of psychic uh uh you know uh, sense that i uh, put it into a different category than just sort of like a, oh look it's et um it was something a little more intense and is driving me to like find people that are talking in the same way or that speak to the, to an experience that they've had that resonates with my own. And that I came across, and I'm trying to think of like how I might've come across um, a team spooky. And I'm thinking like BBSs, like I, yeah. you know, that I, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, that I'm like, okay, so I'm dialing, doing the dialing thing. and connecting. And I'm like, you know, this is, whole college it, thing, yeah. It, yeah, exactly. And so, um, and so I think that I, I, that's how I connected with Crycheck and, and I'm uh, so d doggedly sort of determined to, to get into why this is, you know, both spurred by the experience and maybe by a little bit of, um, you know, uh, Molly or Molly, <laughs> uh, Sc uh, Scully and Mulder, right? Scully, what is it? Mulder and Scully. What is it? Yeah. Who are they? Mulder and Fox Mulder. Fox Mulder. Fox Mulder. Yeah, exactly. So, so you know, have, being a part of that time, I'm, I'm sort of now I'm I'm in an investigation mode. Um, you know, uh, my guy is, uh, he's, he's a friendly, uh, you know, nervous kind of, uh, uh, nerd, you know, um, and, uh, is passionate about, you know, what's happening and wants, and is curious about this, not just because of, I got to find out the mystery, but because I'm worried about the long, like, what, what is, what does this mean? And how could something like this be in a world that, you know, I mean, it's weird. And so I want to, I want to learn more about it and sort of dissect it. And, uh, and that's what brings me to New York. I'm hot on the trail of connecting with this group and had talked with Felix, um, or Crycheck as I know him and, uh, and meeting at the coffee house to see what we do next. All right. Let me set the scene here and then all of then you can pick up exactly where you were. I, I have um, to say something though. If this turns out to be a long-term uh, campaign, Based on what's in the chat, we have to get T-shirts. We all have to I get agree. I have a cricket. I have a cricket maker. I will happily cricket shirts. I'm that mother. Nice. I, I love it. Cricket. I will just Amazon I love find it. me some shirts. So you're in the invitations aren't a typical invitation. It's not a ticket or anything like that. It actually comes in a little black box um, that's secured with a golden ribbon. Um, and of course, you know, once you open it up, uh, rest, uh, you see resting inside on a pillow of pink cotton is a pendant or brooch uh, made of onyx. Upon it is a symbol or rune. You're not sure something on it uh, that's neither Arabic or Chinese, but kind of resembles both. 
Um, and tucked along the side is a piece, piece of paper that reads, this is your invitation, wear it. Come join us for an evening of cocktails and refreshments and a performance of Tatters by the Bakai Theater Company, 141 Paulding Street, 1130 sharp, 11 p.m. sharp. 11.30 p.m. sharp. I'm not it is. I have a random earring that looks like this, but I'm just going <laughs> to... From my other stream show, I'm just going <laughs> to... Love it. It's 11.05 p.m. <laughs> when we pick up here. Um, the You're in the uh, coffee shop known as Dark as Hell. It officially closes at 11 o'clock. The play starts at 12.13 uh, a.m. And you're supposed to be at the meeting place at 11.30 sharp. You know it's somewhere in Brooklyn, but you don't know exactly where. You've been given an address to go to, where you're supposed to show your ticket and get directions to the next location, presumably. Yeah. Um, the location you're supposed to go to is a parking lot. You, you, you know, it's a parking lot of a long shuttered factory. The, uh, the cozy little coffee shop is located on a street corner in Brooklyn, Brooklyn, in Brooklyn. Uh, the windows are covered with thick velvet curtains and the glass doors are painted black on the inside to keep out all light. Uh, the name black as hell is written on the door in, in bold gold letters. Inside, a cloud of sweet-smelling smoke hangs in the air, um, which is dimly illuminated by uh, color papered, lamp uh, colored paper lanterns and tea light candles on the tables. Uh, each of the tables is surrounded by, by thick Turkish seat cushions instead of, you know, mm. traditional coffee tables. Uh, there is a bar with stools lining the back wall. Um, behind the bar, written in an elaborate script, is a quote. Dark as hell, strong as death, sweet as love. An Man, Arabic I just want coffee. coffee. <laughs> it's an Arabic <laughs> quote about coffee. Um, but um, other than than the four of you, uh, there's only a group. There, there's still one group of rowdy college students in a corner booth uh, who just clearly have started to party early and and don't seem to be showing any inclination to leave, despite the fact that the place is closing. Um, there's also a few. Uh, they have a few uh, long depleted hookahs on the table in front of them and, and coffee cups and such, and that's about it. I will let you pick up where you were. I, we're haggling over a like so. I, I'm I'm here late, right? And so I'm trying mm -hmm. to write you a check for this ticket um, so, or this this entry fee. You think of it as a membership fee. There we go. Is it like a members only fee? <laughs> like my members only jacket that I'm wearing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, if we upped our membership fee to thirty six dollars, we could get everyone jackets. Felix. I, so, am I writing a check for thirty six dollars, or I think the bank is closed? No, we'd have to. We'd have to get the whole board to vote on. Okay, it. so are we? Okay, thing. query only because. So, are we like outside the place now? No, you were inside. You, you, you're we the last one it. there. Ava, Ava's trying okay. to close up. Yeah, okay, I'm just like, um, and like she's just gonna walk up. Hey, I know this is great. Like, I'm really excited, but I'm trying to get somewhere. So, if y'all could just pay your tab. Hey. Hey, where, where and there's the college that, students who haven't. Where did you get that? No, I'm from? like, no, she's gonna make her rounds. Like, she's gonna... where, where did you get that pendant from? Oh my god! So like, I'm going to this super cool, oh. like, really awesome play, and like, this is the invite. So like, I, I, I think I'm gonna keep it one? after. You mean like this one? Yeah, like like this. Yeah. One? Hey, oh, I don't have one. Going to? Are you going to? Yeah. Uh -oh. Okay, cool. Give me one second. And she's gonna like walk over to the college kids. Get in or like are you gonna get out or are you gonna pay? You go, what's going on? What are you doing? Like, are we done? Are we done? We yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you pay? But somebody, yeah, we we will pay cash. It's fine. It's fine. Well, Just give right. us a few minutes, all right? No, don't don't stop hassling us. You have 60 seconds. It is 11 50. Like, do you know what time it is? <laughs> Well, let's give a little example of a test. Why don't we, uh, why don't you uh, give me a, can you, well, I don't know. You're almost intimidating them, aren't you? Um, or are you, you know just what? being a little bit smart ass? About she's being a bit of a, she's being a bit of a, <laughs> a of a, a smart ass. 
right. trying to act bigger, badder than she is because it's New York and she's from, you know. You gotta make the noise. Anyway, yeah. Give me a persuasion test. Uh, you can click right on where it says persuasion and that should roll your dice. Uh, my page changed again. Hold on. <laughs> it keeps. Oh, I'm sorry. I did that. <laughs> okay. Okay. If, you go, go to char- if you go to character, it, character okay. check, and then you see right there where it says uh, persuasion on your communication. Aha. I didn't realize me doing that changed it for oh, you. Oh, yeah. I can, I can see every time you move. I'm like, I've had two glasses of wine, and there's no reason <laughs> I can not. All right. You got a 16. Um, so, the, yeah, they're like, all right, all right, fine. And they, they you know, stand up, you know, knocking the, the one of the coffee cups over, you know, probably deliberately spilling it over the table, hand you, you know, uh, the, the, the uh, amount for the uh, tab, which is to the penny, the amount for the tab, n- no extra tip whatsoever. Um, and they all bustle out the door. She's just going to, like, clean up with a look on her face (laughs) they're so lucky i don't need this money and she just like cleans up and she just like puts whatever and then she's gonna lock the door (laughs) i'm close i'm gonna if uh if ava will let me i'm gonna offer to uh hey you, you need a hand i'm i know how to put chairs on top of tables would that help that would be great like my best thing is not working tonight it's me because like i took her shift because she wanted to go out with her boyfriend so it's fine those little buttholes are lucky that i don't need this money it's totally (laughs) fine like it's totally fine this is just just because i'm bored so like she just like starts like cleaning up and putting her tables on and whatever and just starts doing stuff hey jason um yeah i I, i'm glad you're with us and we can talk about the fee uh, and you can actually do us a favor, though. We we sure. uh, we're going to check out a so-called supernat possible supernatural happening. Where? And what? A, a, it, it, there's it, a there's a, a what well, the contacts have said that it's possibly linked to satanic uh, ritual. Oh, voodoo magic thing. And okay. it's probably nothing. I heard the fine. B word. That's my heritage. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. We're good. We're good. We're, we're good. Oh, we good. We good. We good. Okay. All right, it's cool. probably nothing. As you'll find, okay. that seems to be the majority we do is the bunk. Unfortunately, I, I would say sure. Every yeah. Twenty five leads we get only want two pay- now to be anything. The rest of them okay. are okay. Who are have an overactive imagination? So we have this extra, and I give him. All right, yeah, it's a little box, a little like, black box wrapped. I got an extra one. You want? Wow. Like, look, like let me just pass it. Let me just pass it. You can come with us. Wow. And we can talk about the uh, we can talk about the fee. Okay. Afterwards. Of course, you will have to pay the coffee bill here. It's part of the thing. I, sure. Yeah. Of I course. Pay, yeah. Yeah. You have to pay sure. And, All right. A mission. This is great. I think okay, this is really. So, I wouldn't so, go and say so it's like, a mission no yeah no it feels like a mission so at this point it was really like, all right so well, guys i know like we're all going to the same party it's pretty cool we all have this um so who's paying because i'm really trying to like like just i'm just my bestie owes me and she's do you take a check no oh, you uh, what if they carry cash i well um it's all right sorry I, I i got it and she pulls out just like a <laughs> suspiciously <laughs> large <laughs> <laughs> oh <Wow>. cash. <laughs> and uh keep keep the change keep oh my god thank you i'm gonna leave this for my home girl and so she's just gonna like put it in the till and like do whatever and whatever and like she's like dressed way better than most baristas because she's like i knew i was going somewhere and then she's just like all right so if we're going to the same place do you guys want to like take the subway together do you want to like walk together oh yeah like, sure like, i mean uh, how far is the walk it, it's only a, it's about 15 blocks so you you could catch a cab uh you could catch a subway that would get you about halfway there um yeah she's gonna be like this <laughs> she's gonna be like car phone she's gonna like pull out her backpack and then she's gonna be like <laughs> Like whatever, she's gonna be like, you know what? What time is it? And um, we're, we're cutting you kind of close. Want to ride? Do you want to ride? Because like my driver yeah. knows what time I get off work. You're 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 what no, now? That's true. You're, <laughs> you're driver. What? Driver. Okay, nice. For a car. 
Yeah, he drives my car. Cool. Hey, Ian. Ian, yes. can, I make, can I make an occult or a history check on the pendants themselves and see if I can pick up anything? Ooh, nice. Um, sure. Yeah, go ahead. Give me a history. Uh, occult or history, what would be good? History. I mean, it, it works the same either way because they're both same thing. intelligence. And, yeah. But history is actually probably more appropriate. Okay. So, Ava, I, I'm a I'm a nerd from NASA, and so I'll know that you're carrying a, a IBM phone called Simon, and I'll be like, yeah. "Wow, you've got a that's that's a Simon. That's yeah." My dad got me one. He didn't want me to be like without whenever I'm getting driven around and stuff. Like if I go like on a trip or something to like Vermont. So, um, are you guys ready? I'm just gonna, hold on. Just whatever. Hold on. He should be here in like 30 seconds. Hold on. I'm just. I'm just gonna. And a car pulls up, which is I don't know something expensive. Cadillac. <laughs> Cadillac I don't like Cadillac. Cadillac. <laughs> I'm Mercury Grand Marquis. I don't know. Uh. Both oh of them. Welded oh together. Here's John. Okay. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. We can fit in the back. It's totally fine. Okay. Okay. So um, was the roll horrible with that one? Oh, oh I'm sorry. Your roll. Um, the, no, it wasn't terrible. Uh, the, the only thing, you don't recognize the sigil at all. Um, though uh, the one thing, as a history, uh, you know, uh, Getting a little bit of an echo. Um, yeah. If oh someone's got their uh, roll twenty, uh, might you might need to mute it. Yeah, let me double check here. Um, I don't yeah, it just started. Yeah, it just yeah, started. I, yeah, it just, I don't have mine on at all. Let me just double check and make sure mine's not on. Nope, mine's no, still saved to none. I'm not even hearing it anymore. I'm just wondering if that was an internet. It might glitch. have. It might have been a glitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was the interwebs. Curses. <laughs> So, uh, but it, you don't recognize the language at all. Like you, you're fairly certain that it's actually not any known script or, uh, you mean, you'd have to, you'd have to hit a library to make sure, but you're, you're pretty sure that it. it and and, and then and as, I, as I'm thinking about, as this is coming to me, I'm mumbling this as I usually do to Sophie and like, I don't recognize this language at all. Oh, um. But do I know it's the words from like a Persian or. I mean the the symbol itself. No, not at all. They're, they're, you don't recognize the symbol at all. That's that's a really good idea. Um, can I can I make a test as well? I assume. Sure. Yeah. If you being in Spooky Club, I've got a little bit of. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, Research under your belt or something. Oh, yeah. 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 oh my god, this is so pretty. <laughs> yeah. um, that's great. That's great. Have that's great. Have good. Yeah. Go ahead and give me an occultism. Oh, yeah, that's right. I do have a cultism. Yep. Okay, so explain to me again how this works. How it, many it, d6s on, am I rolling? You don't need to. You don't. All you need to do is on the character tab. Um, oh yeah. Occultism's right there. You just need to click on that, and it'll roll. Oh, and it'll you. roll. Yep, just like that. <gasps> oh and you my god. Got a seventeen. God. You see, and if you look in the chat window there, it, Amazing. it pops it up. It's a seventeen. Yep. Super simple. Um, yeah, you know, you're with him. You've never seen that symbol anywhere. Um, actually, I, mean, uh, I take that back. With a 17, you vaguely recall um, something about a play in, uh, in France. Um, oh, yeah. Like, Remember? Years ago, it, it was banned, and the, all all the copies of of the uh, play were actually hunted out and burned by the government. Rem remember when we were reading, we found that trove of all those old French newspapers, and I was working with um uh oh what's his name that anyway the one dude he spoke a little French and we were reading through and we read about that play that had been banned. Oh, I don't remember, but when there we get back, we. When we get there's back, we can go ahead. something like this symbol right. in one of the pictures. I didn't know quite what it meant because it was all in French, right. but I definitely have seen this symbol before. But that's we all might I need. Rubbing of the, the 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 thing before we go. I mean, uh, of the we bro oh yes, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and you, and, and you too. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah. But meanwhile, Ava's just like, oh my god, 
not? Are you well, getting in the car? Yeah, you, it, it, it's 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 cold out. It's gets a little chilly out this evening. Uh, the streets are, are pretty much empty in, in this part of town this time of night. Uh, th there's a bit of a breeze blowing, um, which kind of helps mitigate the smell of garbage coming from the nearby alley. Um, and yeah, the, the car is there waiting for you. And suddenly you hear someone shouting from across the street. Sophie, hey, you Sophie. And you see three kind of tough-looking guys uh, across the street, point at, pointing at at uh, in your direction, Sophie. So if, if you wish, or anyone else can make a uh, streetwise test, if you will. I definitely will. Will not be making streetwise tests. I think you have. Yeah, you do have streetwise. I do. I do think I'm missing some of my things that I need to have. So you, well, we can, well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Let's just see what happens. <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go along. Yeah, uh, no worries. The, you do recognize them. Um, they are a gang that is, it used to be more predominant in, in Southern Brooklyn, but they are, have been moving into this part of town. Um, and uh, you've heard they've actually, beaten the snot out of, out of a couple other couriers. Uh, they seem to be trying to take over the drug trade in this part of town. Um, what, let's uh, get in the car right now and go. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, right now? Like, yep. 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 Okay. Time to go. Let's, they're they're time coming to go. across time the street. The as like time to go. All right. Uh, um, as the last don't, one, don't know who you, you're talking about. Got the wrong girl. Bye. <laughs> As the last one, you gets that you dives into the back seat. Uh, one of them gets up to the window, uh, which I'm I'm going to say actually, um, uh, Jason is is against that window. Yeah, uh, and, and starts banging on the glass of the window with a pistol in hand. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm gonna stop right, you right there. I'm going to stop you right there. Ava's going to lean across everybody. She's going to roll down the window and goes, is this a money thing? Because I have things to do. And if you break this glass, we're gonna, my grandmother's going to be really pissed off right now. So if you could just like not, is it I'd money like, you want? They have a gun. Ava, they have a money. gun. They have a pistol. Oh, you should be concerned <laughs> that she's not concerned about the pistol. So be like, sir. You want money? Is that what this is about? Miss, is that what should, this? should I go? It's John is looking. Should, should, should I? <laughs> He's like looking back, and he, he the, the the guy with the gun just seems stunned for a minute. Yeah, give me a persuasion test once. Real quick. I Let's have see. things oh, that, for that. Sixteen. <laughs> Let me make an opposed roll. Um. I am going to use something. It's going to come up with something that it is not, but that's okay. I'm so used to using manual dice that this confuses me. <laughs> we almost talked about it. We almost talked about doing that. This is my generic one. Here it is. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> he believes anything you said. <laughs> Whatever you said, he believes. <laughs> 50 bucks. Oh my God. So she like reaches into her bra she, and like pulls out a hundred here. Oh, this is so, because you're cute. There you go. All right. Thanks. And she just rolls out the window. John, can you continue on to the address that I gave you earlier? Thank you. He pulls out power. as quickly as he can. <laughs> and, <laughs> that she's rich. <laughs> and, and I'm i uh, I'm a little panicked. I'm just like, oh, oh. there was, there was a pistol it. like four inches from your face. Get a, he had a pistol. It's fine. My grandmother has one of those too. It's totally fine. That's totally fine. That doesn't fine. normally happen. Really that cute just doesn't normally life. happen to us. Yeah, no, it's fine. Okay. Like, like she has like really cute little lady Smith and Wilson with like a mother of pearl handle. Like she has one of those. It's really cute. So um, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Totally okay. Fine. Thank oh, you. I used my drinking money. Thank you so much. Do you want to check? Fine. Yeah, I could give you a check for. No, I, mean, I have was... something on the other bra. <laughs> oh yeah! Fine. Oh my! Oh my gosh! I can totally. I can pay you back here. No, okay. it's fine. I have bra. Like I have more money in my other bra cup. And oh, right, but still, but that was a like, hundred dollars. It's just fine. Seeing. He was all right looking. He's like a big dude on a pinch. It's totally fine. All right. I didn't really even see his face. He was cute, like a goatee. Yeah, like, no, no you probably never, all you remember you is again. <laughs> you never saw his face. None yeah, of I did. That doesn't normally happen with Team Spooky. We usually don't deal with guns. 
Okay. Are you saying Team Spooky in front of Ava? Because Ava's just like, is this like a cult? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a John, um, if they start pulling out athames, please pull over. <laughs> <laughs> We're more like an anti cult, really. Yeah. Yeah, I like yeah, that. yeah. John, that anti cult cult. John, I'm concerned about the cult yeah, we're in not my cult. car, but it's fine. <laughs> no. All right, no, we're not a cult. We don't even have t-shirts. Well, that's yeah. right. We have yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, we. I ha I own a t-shirt, but I don't have the, you know, this t-shirt. Team spooky t-shirt. Yeah. yeah. Okay, can I just talk about that last time I checked, according to my mother with Jim Jones, they didn't have t-shirts either. So I just want to make sure that this is not the right same type of cult. No. Ava, we are not, I give you my word, we are yeah. not a cult. Okay. No. Okay. We, John, we've, if they we've investigated they cults. John, John. Well, yes. John, John. We're, we're, we're here. Oh, okay, cool. Everybody out the car. <laughs> he pulls up. <laughs> car pulls into a, a, a big empty parking lot. Um, th there's a, a flickering light overhead. Um, yeah, it's still cold here. Uh, you see a group of people uh, sort of clustered around. There's a couple cars parked off to the side, and a group of people sort of clustered around, talking with each other. A couple of them are showing each other the the brooches, um, but you know they're just just talking. This is intense. John, can you get my fur out the trunk, please? It's the cold fur. still. Yes, miss. Thank you. What the, is uh, what is this? Thing. Is this where the play is? I think it's this is like I think they have like a courier <laughs> courier service, like like a little bus service that takes you, you to the next like oh. thing you want. You probably see some things you're not used to. This is yeah. Typical. Most groups. of the people look fairly wealthy. Um, yeah, th this looks like a very well-to-do crowd. Most, oh. but th there's a few few others mixed in who you know look a little more normal. Um, gotcha, but, gotcha. But they're all everyone's dressed up like they're going to the theater. Um, but yeah. Uh, well, I John, guess it's not one of those raves. <laughs> I was told. I we're totally underdressed for it, but hey. <laughs> We'll just, uh, as long as we'll we look it. like we're supposed to be here, right? The, the, we'll I mean, we've all got stylishly that. I, in, in I'm just going to say that whatever. she looks pretty stylish for a barista. She was like, even though she was like working a long day, she's just like, yeah. Oh my God, would you like a dinner jacket? Like I keep things, like my ex left a whole bunch of things in my car and I just kept them because he didn't deserve them because I bought them for him. But would you like a jacket? I mean, I mean I'm, I'm not going to lie. I would love a jacket. You probably oh my god, John! Yeah. Can you please pull out the rabbit, and then can you pull out the um, <laughs> laser? And um, would you like one too? I don't know if they're gonna fit. Can pull out all the blazers from my ex, and then you, pull you out. have multiple blazers in your car. <laughs> he starts I'm laying them out on. Ex on the <laughs> I have multiple ex boyfriends. They cannot handle the fact that I have more money than them, and I have a goal to be a super famous actress. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Felix, can I can I talk to you just? Yeah, for yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I'm gonna just start looking at the jackets and being like, okay, oh wow, this is nice. I, that one's a Valentino. I okay. I don't know um, how we lucked into finding Ava, but we have got to protect her. Like, if something is bad or weird about this show, we have got to keep our eyes on her. Right? That like, one's a Virgin. She's way too innocent. To handle anything, Sophie. Bad, I, I, right? have, I, have a, I don't believe we're going to find anything. I mean, it's just going to be at most a snuff, a snuff show or something. Yeah, it's, that's a Jean Paul Gaultier. It's you're right, so you're right, nice. You're right. It's, it's like probably just some crazy, like rich people mask party. How many, how many of these things we've been to and we find nothing? They're nothing. Keep... If I can't remember, yeah. I think that one. It's yeah. just a bunch like a, um, Chanel from NYU. Online. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I, this, I, I'm gonna wear this. I mean, yeah. I really like it. You're right. Um, You're I prefer right. the Valentino. Yeah. Ten out of ten, I would recommend. It's yeah. a nicely tailored. We'll be fine. A Valentino, it is. Okay. Nice. Uh, uh, Okay, I'll try it on, and it fits nicely. And not to mention, our barista could probably buy the whole place if she wanted to. Two white vans pull into the into the parking lot really fast to the point that they screech to a halt. I've uh, seen right this movie, and it doesn't end well. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
uh, a, a well, one man gets out of each wearing a, a very nice black laser uh, with a, a uh, turtleneck, black turtleneck underneath and mirrors. And we're not mirror shades, but uh, dark sunglasses. Um, and they gesture for every and open the, the back door to the van and gesture for everybody to get in. I have seen this movie several times, but you know what? I committed to this character. She's going to like step up to us. She's going to hold out her hand. It's somebody. <laughs> I'm one of the other people who got in first that, you know, takes your hand oh, yeah, and, and helps you, you in. I lean over to Jason. I'm, I'm surprised we're, they're not going to blindfold this. That's you. Yeah, but how he does looks this like a young raver, look? actually. Um, mm -hmm. he, he, and he, and he, he looks like he's planning on going raving afterwards. So. Oh, my God. Thanks. I love this aesthetic. It's super cute. <laughs> and I'm putting on my the Valentino, I believe. <laughs> I'm sort of like, you know, I mean, did you get a jacket? I'm talking to the cry check. Uh, no, I think I'm going to do the grunge look. Right. So has the rabbit? Right. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Rabbit's for Ava. <laughs> Tactical turtle. Oh, no. Oh, oh, she already got <laughs> she the, rabbit to you. Coat. the rabbit was I for you. Yeah, yeah, she offered you the, yeah, the rabbit. Like, you've got a rabbit. Like she, yeah. yeah, I'm going to take that. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just going to be that like this. From, that one's from my ex-girlfriend. She was completely useless. This is going to make me want to do heroin again. Oh, my God. Oh. I'm, not, what? I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> what is she? <laughs> the door slammed shut. Drugs out of the ground, not drugs in a lab. It makes you crack. Oh, my God. Ava, if you ever need drugs, I I am your girl. I'm going to I'm gonna get you my home number. I got a beeper. Uh, I'm going to give you that. And uh, just, I can hook you up anytime. Sophie, you want Sophie, I'm gonna, did I'm we, gonna did we talk about? Did we talk about this? Like we were gonna kill that. Uh, the, the the guy uh -huh. who took her hand is like, wait, wait, wait what? what uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, I'll give you my number too. Cool. Sophie, hey, was just like, we were going that other path. You got, you got anything on you? This is for <laughs> other people, Felix. This is my job. I'm just, I'm trying to, you know, expand. I'm just gonna be like, I'm watching, sort of eyes wide open, like. And I eyes I, wide I, I, open or eyes wide shut. I mean, about to be point, shut, right? I don't know what's <laughs> Bring out the masks. Um, so <laughs> I, I had gotten in behind Ava, and I'm going to say, I, I think, I think she's a drug dealer. Like oh my goodness! Like a bunch of those too. It's totally fine. Okay, yeah. We like yeah, to say there's... pharmaceutical salesman. My I'm grandmother pharmacist. calls them. She says that they're called recreational pharmacists. Yes. Yeah, recreational yeah, pharmacist. Fine. Okay. Okay. And I, I have cool. restrictions. Cool. No, cool. no heroin, no crack, no cocaine. Okay. So yeah. when you get in, there are seats in the back uh, for you, uh, which, which you're able to sit in. They, uh, there, uh, three other people squeeze into the back with you, um, and the other, the, the rest of the people all get into the other van. Uh, you notice right away that the. Uh, the uh, windows in the back are covered over with black gaffers tape. I have um, seen this and there's movie, been, and it's been a screen win. erected that you can't see out the front. Um, the other gentleman gets it, you know, he closes the van door, gets in the front, and the vans peel out of the parking lot. Uh, you drive for about 15 minutes, maybe. Um, it uh, you're you're not really over some rough roads. Uh, definitely crossing some railroad tracks a couple of times. You think maybe How many a people bridge. Did you say we're in the vans all together. Uh, uh, th there's there there were fifteen people. Well, uh, actually, with you there with you there were fifteen. So there there's uh, three more in the van with you. Okay. Um, one of them's definitely a raver, and the other is a young, you know, upper middle class yuppie looking couple. Um, I, I say, um, so what have you heard about the show to the upper, upper middle class? Oh, um, well, a, a friend of mine, you know, he, he got the tickets for us because, you know, well, my firm uh, does business with him. Uh, you you might have heard of, you know, name some law firm in, in Manhattan, which you have no idea. Uh, and, uh, but yes, uh, so yeah, he, he, he said that, that these shows that they do are just amazing. Um, uh, little graphic sometimes, but 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 absolutely amazing. Um, so we'll see. I I'm up for an adventure. How'd you hear about it? 
Oh, uh, I got the tickets from a from a friend. Actually, it was a little weirder than that. I was in this store, and uh, this dude in like this crazy stripy makeup just walked right up to me and gave me two tickets. That's crazy. Yeah. How? What? Yeah. Absolutely. So it was the Cochrane. Oh, right, Cochrane Law Firm. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Um, in, in New York. York. Yeah. I'm so yeah, why not? Um, yeah, but you know, you, you make some small talk with them on the way. Uh, they don't seem to know much of anything else about the, uh, uh the play, you know, n none of them have been to one before. Um, uh, Suddenly, the van comes to a stop just as quick as it always seems to, uh, causing you all to lurch forward a little bit. And the door is opened next to you. Um, I assume as you all exit, uh, you're in, in a yes. Yeah, I forgot to ask this before we start. Sure, go ahead. I my my thought was, since I'm here to investigate, so can I here to investigate? Is it inconceivable for me to have a small one of those small little cassette dictating machines, sure. you know, yeah. in my pocket and maybe yeah. uh, one of those really small uh, disposable cameras, you know. And so yeah, you like get, that, sure, right? that, yeah, you, you you have a small, yeah, or, yeah, you can definitely have that. And, and But it's kind of hidden, and, it's not. And probably like a mag, one of the small mag light things right. too, you know. Yeah. Um, I'll assume both of you have, you know, a, a number of things like that on you. Cool, cool. Um, when you step out of the uh, the van, the gravel crunches over your uh, under your feet. Uh, the air is very cold and damp, and smells of brine mixed with motor oil, with a faint undercurrent of rotting fish, kind of like most of coastal Brooklyn. Um, a massive Gothic cathedral towers over you. You see me in the back parking lot of the cathedral. It blocks out most of the, the sky. Um, not many of the stars, of course, are visit visible as this is New York City. Um, however, Thank God the stars aren't right. <laughs> <laughs> emerging from behind the bell tower of the cathedral, you see a faint green comet streaming across the sky. And actually, Jason, would you give me an astronomy? I'm supposed to see. Jason, is that supposed to happen? <laughs> yeah, let me do that. Because uh, I, I am your I'm your astronomer. Um, one second. Astrophysicist. <laughs> All right. So what am I doing now? How to, okay. uh, let's see. So bring up your character. Um, let me take a look here. Make sure. Give it a click. I got my place. intelligence. Okay. If you got it. Did, did, Yep, you hit okay, 15. And you had three stunt points. <laughs> okay. Uh, we know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, let me just think here for a second, stunt points wise. Uh general stunts. I'm trying to think of what a stunt would look like if you are identifying a star, you know. <laughs> well, it can give you bonuses for um you pull out a mini telescope that looks <laughs> like something out of Harry Potter that just procures full <laughs> size. <laughs> Pull out of my Valentino or whatever it, it, I ended up wearing. That's interesting. Well, I'm just going to say you are absolutely certain that there are, that this is not right. There is no comet visible at this time. Gotcha. Okay. No report of anything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll just say this is, this is something. This is something because there's nothing. We have no predictive information talking about any kind of uh, a comet, a meteor, or anything in. Like this is something different. It's different than you know than like a comet or like a meteor. It's like a. It, it could be an, anything. Like a maybe like a UFO or like a something. This is not supposed to be here. This is new. It's not like anything. It's not like a meteor. Or not like a. Like I'm just gonna get a little panicky. Um, <laughs> Hey, hey, Sophie, can am I am I gonna am I gonna like notice that he's like panicking? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, he's, I'm gonna be like, hey, Sophie, a... like, I'm not big on like recreational stuff, but I think this one he needs a little something. I don't. I, I, I'm just telling you, this is not. This is not supposed to. Like, there's no record of this. I know. Are you I'm gonna try to dawdle around here? Or are you going inside? 
We're going to. I'm going inside. Um, while, I'm trying. While, while I'm like, I'm going to go behind Sophie a little bit and take out a little camera and. Okay. Nice, nice. This is very true. A little note from the chat that if you're the first one to see a comment, you get to name it. Yeah. <laughs> After yourself. We can, we can name it our death. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. The last we're comment just, we see. We're just gonna. We're just gonna like Sophie. Like I, I'm not Sophie. Ava's like, oh my god, and she's like gonna strut in with her little brooch and just her heels clicking, and she's all excited. But he's pointing towards not the an entrance to the church upstairs, but there's a, a like a cellar door in the back of the church um and it's open and it's pitch black <laughs> it's like a black hole going i have there. a bad feeling about this uh, no you said everything was going to be fine when did things change <laughs> <laughs> when the unexpected astro uh unexpected astronomy thing it's something i don't know what it is it's not an asteroid i mean he is from nasa that I'm is a- green in- yeah that isn't good i mean we definitely have to go then right yeah all right all right let's just it could we don't know jason jason might be so as we're I'm right here answer, why don't we why don't we use this as a good time if anybody needs a drink or anything short break like sounds minutes, whatever, whatever. good all right we'll take a quick break then into the <laughs> Before we go into the church of demon see. worship, yes. <laughs> All right. So we do it. We do it five minutes. Do it five yeah, minutes. we'll do yeah, five, five minutes. minutes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That sounds good. All right, folks. We'll be back in five minutes.
Hey. All right. Sorry. I had to find my jacket. Oh. Hi, oh my God. It was worth the wait. It was worth the wait. Thank worth you. the wait. Absolutely. Yeah. So when we last uh, left you, uh, you were staring down uh, this black cellar hole in the back of the church, uh, in the back of this huge Gothic cathedral. You know, I take a deep breath and go, Susan was right. I, I am losing it. We remember 10 years ago, David Copperfield made the Statue of Liberty disappeared. You remember that? Yeah. David it's, Copperfield? It's, yeah. He made the thing disappeared. It's probably the same type of illusion. They're probably shooting some high. I think his name is Copperfield. Copperfield. Sorry. It's been 10 years. Like That's it. your, yeah, it's your accent. I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm. So if, so my theory is that they're probably shooting some sort of laser projector on a cloud or something like that. It's nothing. Oh, you There's... think? Okay, yeah. Well, so you think that this and this people are going past you down? I'm just walking in. Like they're yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm walking, walking and talking. talking. I'm walking and talking. All right, all right. It's a walk and so, talk. It's a little walk and talk. I'm excited. We're doing I'm a walk and talk. Anyway. You go down. You, I'll let you all continue a moment. Just want to let you know what you're what you're experiencing here. As you go down, um, at, about the time you reach the bottom of the stairs, you start heal, hearing and even feeling uh, music coming from somewhere ahead of you. Uh, it, it is still pitch black. Um, maybe if you reach out with your hands, you you feel you're going down a a, a small tunnel, more or less. Uh, but there's felt uh, felt cloth. Our echo is back. I'm getting that echo back. Yeah. That's weird. Why is it coming and going? Is it here now? Nope. All right. <laughs> and you, you you come to it to the end of it in about fifteen feet, and uh, you're and you there's felt curtains in front of you which you're able to part. Um, 
you come out into the undercroft of the cathedral. Uh, the floor here is made of marble, has huge arched ceilings. Uh, a bar has been set up along the wall to your right. Folding chairs fill the center and about, about 40 people are already milling uh, around uh, or milling around the room, chatting excitedly and, and you know, obviously eager to see what, what's coming. Uh, there's some stage lights suspended from the ceiling and up on raised platforms on both sides of the room. A full stage has been built on the far side, uh, which is currently draped with heavy ochre curtains. Matching drapes hang between the pillars, um, it, it, the pillars uh, on the either side, blocking off the entire back of the room. Uh, candelabras, incense burners, uh, and uh, and such rest on broken uh, Greek, uh, Greek Greek Grecian col columns, uh, which provide most of the light. So it's fairly dim in here. Um, the surface of the bar. Well, I'll get to that if you go there. Uh, but anyway, uh, there there are people milling about, uh, uh, carrying trays with refreshments, drinks, champagne, little finger sandwiches, cucumber sandwich, you know, little cucumber sandwiches and such, shrimp, that sort of thing. Um, all of them are wearing masks, uh, which looks like to be either metal or ceramic, depending on the person of uh, of various uh, you know Greek. Uh, gods, heroes, monsters, and, and the like. Um, yes. Fran, I was muted. Um, two questions. Uh, one, can I see, like, if I start mingling in the crowd, do I see anybody that's like higher up, up oh my God, echelon, network worthy for her career? Or do they seem like people that are like my status and below? Nobody oh, that's like in the industry. There are very likely people here who uh, would be of use to you. Okay. Um, in that sense, uh, go ahead. Oh. I'm saying I'm gonna make a reach and say etiquette because. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's communication. But I'm still gonna let you go ahead and use etiquette to sort of talk your way around and find okay. who the uh, you know, theater producers are. Meh. Okay. Okay. Well, no, it's a 15, and you got one stun point, too. Okay. So, let's see here. What are social stunts? Um, read the situation. Uh, well, you get a plus one on your follow-up. So, yeah, actually, with even with the 15, you, you make your way through the crowd uh, and and start asking who all's here and actually find out that there's a, a big Broadway producer over there who's actually looking. You know, they're starting to cast for this new up-and-coming uh, play on Broadway. He's gonna be um, like, he's gonna pluck a glass of champagne. Okay, guys, it's been great. And she's just gonna <laughs> <laughs> so Go there on. goes our ride. There's a ride. <laughs> just find me later. I'll be fine. Just gotta go. Damn it, my bike is still at the coffee shop. <sighs> it's fine. Just, just so she's gonna like try and like make her way over and see if she can get any deets about how they got here, how they got this, X, Y, and Z. Just like smoozing well, give, and elbowing her way give me a follow-up etiquette test and you get a plus one because okay. of your your previous stunt 23 plus one is 24 wow. but i get five stunt points you're hired on the spot you you, you are <laughs> in the, 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 the <laughs> 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 a spotlight turns on and you're on the stage. <laughs> um, if anyone should know. drag you out of there right now. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this movie doesn't get made without her. Let's go. <laughs> well, yeah, he I also need my has shoulder friends. pads. He has friends in Hollywood and, and you know, you're oh going to be the next rising star. Um, but you managed to, well, well, well uh, that's going to take yeah. you a little while to, to, to get to that. I want to see what everybody yeah. else is doing. I'll get back to you. Um, well, yeah, what anybody else do anything in particular? Seems like our friend Ava is having a good time. Yeah, yeah she just ends up in this little crowd of people in tuxedos. And <laughs> maybe, I think she's the real deal. I think maybe she's gonna, she's be... gonna be fine. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have worried. She's God. she's uh gonna, yeah, she's gonna be a, a star. Do you, I mean, look at them, they love her. Wait, hold on. 
I, I mean, it, is it normal for? Oh, a, now, a, I now I see it. Classic. Read, but Ava doesn't wear glasses. But the player oh, is nearsighted, so is it, is it, <laughs> that's just classic. Yeah. It, it, is it normal for producers to kiss their feet? Literally, kiss their I've, feet. I've never seen anything like this. This is. This yeah, he, she is just being fawned over by, by this whole baton. crowd. Who doesn't I, kiss Lou Baton? Like, I feel on. like I feel like we're witnessing missing a story we're gonna like read about later in variety like in real life right? yep. yeah. Yeah. Say, you we recognize a couple broadway actors over there you yeah. know they're, they're yeah i think these are like legitimate there. stars yeah <laughs> awesome yeah um, will, i'm gonna grab food okay he's poor <laughs> yeah yeah you can grab food or yeah you know, and, and there <laughs> you, can, you can grab one of the champagne flutes or there's a a, a full bar over over along the wall yeah, I'm gonna grab. Yeah, I'm gonna do some champagne, and uh, I'll grab some of that shrimp. Shrimp, okay. my favorite flavor. And, and he will be doing the starving grad student maneuver of, you know, <laughs> one of the hand, three shrimp in the pocket. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this, this, will, this will ask. No, never shrimp. Never shrimp. Just come with your own, so, you with your own plastic sandwiches. bag. To just shove everything in, so you can shove it into your Nothing. coat pocket later. Not saying that I did that in college. I'm just saying <laughs> plastic bag, coat pocket. That's very smart. Yep. <laughs> Ziploc right. bag hey. in each pocket. Anything hey. other than grabbing food. <laughs> very smart. Uh, I, hey. I, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. So I, after this, I got to tell you something, Sophie, about the team. I, it's. About Team Spooky? Yeah. But let's just get through this. I'm just going to, I'm feeling very third wheel right. right now. And I'm just kind of looking like Ava's, you know, clearly, you know, the, the bell of the ball. And these two are having some intense conversation about something later. I'm just going to take a look at sort of who do I see, like, you know, that isn't, you know, fawning over Ava. And Sure. Um, again, it's a very mixed crowd. Uh, all all sorts of people from all walks of life. They're all dressed up a little bit to one degree or another, uh, or at least this for the degree? most part. Uh, there was a few people who've showed up in in jeans and t shirts. Um, okay. Uh, the, the they said there's a there's a, he, a really nice bar. Uh, looks like it's uh, made of uh, polished uh, basalt. Uh, the the liquor the liquor behind the bar is all lit up from behind, but it's all uh, high end amber liquor. They're, 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 oh, okay. Don't see any yeah. vodka or anything. As somebody um, who's, I, I'm a little prone to being nervous, so I'm just going to walk up to the bar. I'm going to do a little, like you know, shot therapy. Um, and sure, yeah, they, they they happily pour whatever you would like. Uh, there there is no fee. Oh, tipping is, is tipping is encouraged. Of course. Okay, do you take a check? Can I write a check for the? I mean, <laughs> I, I just didn't bring any cash with me. Is that no? Is that? I, I, Sure. I, I, I mean, I, it's, why it's not? Good. The, it won't bounce. I mean, it's good. No, uh, okay. Fine. All right. Great. Hold on one second. <laughs> I love Wait. how like the check is now like how he's gonna like do everything. <laughs> All right. These checks are gonna save us. No. <laughs> I'm writing the check, and uh, do I write it to you, or is the like what is this place? Uh, just just make it to the Bakai. The Bakai. Okay. Okay. How do I spell that? T H E. Okay. B A C C H A E. It's the name okay. of the theater troupe. Fantastic. And then, okay, then it's, this is a tip. A tip. Okay. This is good. This is really good. Um, all right. Here you go. Don't spend this all in one place. Thank you. I I would just love to say that all of a sudden you hear Ava giggling like, and then I told us I'm always looking for the feature. <laughs> Ava <laughs> Louvier. <laughs> there is one other thing I'm doing, Ian. I'm looking around. Do I notice any like other symbols or of uh, interests or cult like things that? Um, not really. No, there's it. it it's remarkably uh, a, a cult symbol. Well, actually, give me a um perception test i can do that i have investigation will that help um just trying to think here for a second investigation would let me make sure i get this one right um it's intelligence right mm -hmm. think no, it's not intelligence. What is investigation? Is there a perception? Investi is, no, it's intelligence. Yeah, I've got, yeah. 
Oh, I don't have investigation. I have research. That's cool. The book doesn't have investigation listed. It should have because it's no, it, it's un, it, it should be under communications. Really? Because investigations is talking to people. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Um, don't want to waste it. Yes, interviewing people for information, otherwise eliciting clues from social interactions. Okay, it's, well then I will move it to communication. Uh, then that would not be what I'd be using because that, that, so I guess I'll just do protect. I'll just I will just do um, we call it perception. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and give me a perception test. What you get? Okay. Uh, yeah, the uh, room is remarkably um, uh, occult free. There, there's, you know, it, it, just what you've seen. I mean, other than, of course, the masks, uh, which are all, you know, representative of, of very uh, uh, Gresham uh, heroes, gods, monsters, you know, from mythology. But you don't, you know, see a satanic Bible or anything like that lying around. Yeah, I, I just go back and uh just in my own thoughts thank you okay so we'll go back to, to ava here for a second um so will you be free next friday for an interview oh my god and, totally. and maybe yeah. well for an audition would you like me to, would you like me to prepare a monologue i have several that i love but if uh, you have something we may send something over yes. um but 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 bring your favorite as well yeah okay, come, okay. Come awesome. ready for anything Awesome. Are you a fan of Midsummer? Um, that's not exactly my thing. Um, but I I know someone who does that sort of thing. Well, obviously, it, it, I mean, it's that, just that's what we're reading. here for tonight. I it's mean, just for the reading. It's just like a reading so you can catch my range. I have several. Sure. But yeah, please. Like, here's my card. It's gonna like flops out like a black card with like gold leaping and all that crazy stuff on it. <laughs> Thank please, you. Please, I will totally love anything you have suggestions for. I would love to practice it before next. That'd be great. He, and he pulls out a card and, and offers it to you. It, it, it's eggshell with that, you know, that, that that perfect finish and everything. But and whatever the popular font is at the moment. Um, Ariel, Tech Times uh, New Roman. Uh, one of the two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ariel. Let's Gammon. call it Ariel. Gammon. Oh, Gam. Okay. Well. Uh, Gammon. <laughs> That's what I. Gammon. Like. Yes, Gammon. That that. Oh my God! It. I forgot about that one. <laughs> So yeah, but it yeah, it's one of those yeah fancy card. Um, uh, yeah, but it, it, so so have you um, have you uh, been to one of the Bakai productions? I, I've been hearing things, but I, I don't know if I believe everything I hear. Um, I don't know. Like I've heard whispers. I've been trying to make my way around the circuits. Um, I was able to get a ticket from a friend of a friend. Well, ticket. This is hey, you're lucky. They're very exclusive from what I understand. That's what I heard. Um, but like, I don't know. Like I heard something about crazy ritualistic looking stuff on stage. And I think it's like is an that aesthetic. Yours? An aesthetic. Huh? Is that yours? The, on, the, your, the this one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the, the one. That's my invite. Yeah. Can I see it? You can see it right here. All right. When he pulls, he, he pulls his out of, out of his pocket and sort of holds it out, and we're getting that echo again. We are Where's indeed. From I'm gonna Is mute me. Good? It may be me. I don't know because it might be my mic echoing through stuff. So I'll just mute when I'm not talking. All right. We'll see if that does it. Uh, he holds it out, and it looks almost identical, but it doesn't have quite the same sheen. And he sort of clicks it. Yours looks like it's actual stone. My, mine's plastic. And, and, and the, you know, people all around sort of start doing that. You know, wait, wait. Yeah, I'm going to walk mine? over. I, I'm, I'm presuming I'm at the bar watching her have the yeah. conversation. Sure. I'm, you, I'm you, gonna, see, yeah. you see them all pulling them out. You, you would all see I've that. had a little liquid courage. So, you know, and, and wearing the jacket. So, hold on. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty heavy. I thought it was like authentic, like a collectible, because I was totally going to put it in like my um, armoire. My Yours armoire. looks real. My, mine isn't. I just, you know, I, I, why would they give it, give real, uh, you know, I pinned mine on too, and I'm gonna like City. is mine stone as well, or I mean, is it? I don't know. Maybe like it's all about who you know. I don't know. Like I, I don't know. Like it's weird. I don't know. 
I just was at a whole bunch of parties and networked, and I don't know. I got this cute little box. A- Ava, did you get your you you got yours from a different person First than person. we did, didn't you? Yeah, like I was. Mine's like, stone as well. And, yeah. I'm gonna call over. I'm gonna motion to cry check and and so we did. And the uh, the the uh, gentleman it, 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 is this a friend of yours? Is he an actor as well? Um, he's oh, no. actually and no. no, don't worry about him. She's just gonna like no, take his arm me. and like hook it around his arm and be like, he's, <laughs> he's like my current one right now. Oh don't mind yes, him. he's super smart. I think. Yeah. Where do you work? Smart. Tony? And this, I have NASA. Yeah. NASA. Oh, one. that's yeah. uh, people sort of glom into that. NASA. Oh, we, yeah. That's, that's fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. Do, 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 are you an astronaut? Oh, uh, no, no, no. I'm a, I'm a scientist. Uh, I yes. work on you. Yeah. Scientist. Yes. Yes. Scientist. Smart. Yes. No, Very they, smart. They seem a like, little less impressed. At, 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 uh, I mean, it's fine. I mean, it's, guess I mean, what? I, guess what? I crashed the satellite. No, the cool thing is like you crash the an astronaut. That means he comes home every day. That's right. I'm on terra firma. Wait, yeah. Wait. Yeah. All right, guys. So, um, but yeah, like I, like I don't. He, I don't know. He knows people, but like I do my own thing because I'm independent. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, You're I'm getting a bunch of to... cards at this point uh, <laughs> be, be, because. Uh, you know, it's, it's, you have this, 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 uh, you know, actual, actual stone, uh, brooch, uh, and, uh, a few people were sort of, uh, eyeing you up, Jason, a few of them did, trying to find out a little bit more about you because, you know, you're, you're clearly with Ava. So you must be something more than just a NASA scientist. Yeah. It was a real satellite. I mean, it crashed into Mars. I mean, oh, they definitely want to hear all about that. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was a mess. It was, it was a mess. How much is he drank by this point? <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad. It was just not good. It Don't, not good. Like, it's great. Like, he does the satellite thing. It's super cool. And, like, astronauts are cool, but they are gone for, like, how long are they gone for? Jason? Oh, the radiation? and Oh, it's not. It's a lot. Oh, I've it's... heard about the radiation. It yeah, does things to... Yeah. yeah, but I don't know. Like, yeah. he knows people that knows people. I just have been, like, here for, like, a year trying to work my way up. And, like, she's just obviously in swarm of cars. And she's like, it's great. Like, I don't know. I really want to put it in my collectibles. My grandmother has a really, really pretty couple of I wonder, uh, we should talk to Crycheck and, so, I mean, I th- we all have, I mean, mine's stone like yours, but there's is, that is not stone. She's That's... gonna be like, "Who? Oh, your <laughs> friends? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are, gonna... are, our, are our stone or are they? They're stone. Yeah. I didn't actually wear mine. So I just have it in my pocket. I don't. Okay, okay. Yeah. my pocket here. Oh my God, just... guys, if you give me one second, I'm gonna go see what him and his friends want to talk about real fast, and okay. I'll be right back. All right. Someone give me a fresh glass. I'll be right back. Oh. Three or four people go to get glasses. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, like, all, all these men and women all just just lined up with. <laughs> she's, she's gonna be like, okay, cool, and like she's gonna lean to Jason and be like, don't say sh- anything. Right. Just Jason, are you having a good Jason, are you having a good time? I am, but and there's she's something like. Still like Oh my god, we have to keep this up, guys. Oh, <laughs> I mean, like, there's, I mean, there's, they, these are different. Apparently, someone wanted to see mine. Mine's like made of rock. Mine too. Other people's are different, though. They're plastic. They're just cheap plastic replicas. Bless his heart. I'm sure he comes from a good family, but I think his is plastic. (laughs) Sophie, Um, what what do you remember about that French play you were talking about? Do you remember anything more about it? I remember uh, the that's the symbol was there. There's a picture of that. Um, uh, it got it shut banned. down. It got yeah. shut down and uh, maybe all the copies got destroyed. I couldn't quite, I mean, Jane, he wasn't the best French speaker. Jane, so do you need me? Cause I have like four glasses of booze waiting for me. <laughs> well, around then there's, there's a loud sound of a gong. Bong, bong, bong. Okay. And, and and someone and the curtains part and a man in a yellow robe, uh, and and a mask of um, look, looks like a bull, uh, steps out onto the stage. If you would all please be seated, we are about to begin. This is intense. And he goes back behind the curtains. 
It was, uh, People start scurrying around, finding seats and such. Uh, you all, you all want to sit together? Yeah. Do we want to sit up close to the front or? Uh, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> Take it from me, pro here. You do not want to be front front row. You will not get the full aesthetic. You cannot see the entire stage set. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But at least the middle, so you can see the entire cascade of the setup, and that way you can get the full ensemble in your view. Okay. I actually feel this is going to be more prejudiced, 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 uh, magic, <laughs> you know, <laughs> stage what? magic. I'm sorry. That I, word. Okay. So should yeah, we that, be farther or closer? Word. I, you know, I prefer a little bit in the middle. Okay. Uh, good. Is this like sure. a, is this like a, like a, like a, like a play play? It's not like a dance or a. I don't know. No, I mean, you're, we're probably going to see a like, lot of special Ava, effects Ava's and a lot ja of dragging movies. Jason along at this point. Yeah, yeah exactly. And I'm just like, let's uh, let's have a seat then. Um, Commit it to this now, so she has to just like. I've never done seat. this before, where you just like sit down and look at a thing and watch it happen. Is it yeah, like a no movie? mosh pits here? Kind of like, like a, like a movie. movie, exactly. Yeah, but it, like I said, but it's like people but keep your eyes out. open. But keep your eyes open for the wires. As you might see, or sure, oh they're gonna sure. get tricky. You're they're doing totally yeah. ruin the mood. Just shh. you gotta okay. enjoy the moment. The lights start right. going yeah. down. All right, we're hustling to our seats. Then I turn. I, I turned. I turned my recorder on. All right, and it, it, with Ava's twenty-three etiquette test and five stunt points, you st that's still running. So you, you can <laughs> sit, sit wherever you want. You, know, you need nice. To center seat she can just and people just get out of the way because they think she's royalty or something um <laughs> this is pretty cool i'm not gonna lie. or mob i don't know <laughs> All right. you hear sort of a hissing and and some uh smoke sort of fills the sides of the room and you um smell uh the scent of incense burning um so kind of like sandalwood perhaps um and it becomes almost pitch black in the room and then letter words are projected onto the uh onto the curtain um and it just says anything true is a lie and all lies are truths and then it slowly fades out hmm. the lights slowly start to come up and the curtains part um before you uh is it just looks like a, a theater stage uh the set uh, looks like a gloriously appointed uh, a bed, bed chamber um, of uh, perhaps a young woman in ancient, uh, it looks very Greek in, in uh, its style. Um, it's such an aesthetic, I love it. <laughs> there is a, a a woman, a young a young lady and an and older man are, um, off to one side of the room, uh, she's at a desk uh, with an ink quill, seems to be practicing writing something. He looks like maybe a tutor or something of, of that nature. Um, and you notice also standing perfectly quietly and not moving at all and does not move or say anything throughout the entire scene is a, a, a shaven head monk in yellow robes or monk-like figure um, who just stands perfectly still. The scene um, uh, progresses with, with uh, between the uh, uh, the, prin the princess who you learn her name is Casilda um, and her tutor uh, Nataba, um, and they basically go back and forth discussing the, uh, the the responsibilities of being a ruler. Um, it's kind of dry. Um, you know, this is not what you were really expecting. And I'm going to sort of go through scene by the, the first few scenes here um, and just give you a short summary. Uh, and if any of you want to do anything at any point, just jump in, you know, if you. if you. I, I'm just going to say I'm going to do like midway uh, of a cult check and see if I recognize any of what they're saying. That, I'll, we'll, we'll get to that at, at the end. We'll, we'll deal with that at the very end. At the end, uh, the ominous. Oh, we're going to get to the end. Okay. <laughs> well, there will be an end. Well, we're coming up for the end for this evening, uh, for the end of this, this section of the scene. Okay. Um, 
the curtains then close and and, and scene two opens again with um with prince uh, princess casilda uh, uh, this time sitting upon a throne um and uh she is talking uh well she's greeting guests uh, who appear to be arriving for some grand ball, uh, a masquerade ball that is to take place that evening. Um, and as uh, as there, she's also discussing with with some of the ladies of the court uh, about the fact that um, you know that, that perhaps she's to pick, she's supposed to pick a suitor, uh, you know, cho choose someone to marry uh, at this ball, um, and. I'm just going to read one section of hers. This is Casilda. To wed or not to wed, that is the question. And if to wed, to whom to plight my troth? The glutton, the shepherd, the milksop, the bookworm, the mercury disturbed, the all too fully recommended or the afterthought? Faith, I'll have none. No, the black stars will rise and Hastert sit again on the throne of lost Carcosa ere I will wed any of those. I mean, so I can't you. argue with her. With her, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> you whisper to each other in between. <laughs> She's got a point. Scene three uh, looks to be a gatehouse of a castle, um, uh, but the castle was made of marble. It looks like or, I'm sorry, of, of obsidian. Um, behind, beyond the gatehouse, are more towering. Uh, the, the backdrop. It almost. It, it, it kind of blows your mind how real it looks. I, I mean, the, the props makers were incredible. You see uh, uh, towering buildings uh, made of obsidian or some, some dark uh, uh, stone. There are two moons rising over a, a, a lake beyond um, or an ocean. You're not sure which. Uh, there's a single guardsman on the wall waiting waits in silence for an incredibly long time. This is amazing looking, but kind of boring. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually a stranger, someone arrives on the path below and the guardsman stops the stranger. The stranger is wearing um, an ochre robe and a mask made of torn up paper with an almost comical smiling face, or is it a grimace? You're not sure. Uh, just hand drawn on the uh, on the paper, and the the stranger uh, indicates that he is there uh, for that they are there for the uh, for the ball, um, and the the guard questions them, asks what house he's. From, and they go back and forth, the stranger being vague and, and elusive, and eventually the guardsman lets the stranger pass. And the curtains close. Oh, jeez. Come back up and open in again scene four, which looks to be a courtroom. Um, marble thrones, uh, Gresham col columns, um, very elaborate. Uh, and there are two green candles on the stage that, 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 that is the only illumination for this scene. Um, a woman sits upon a throne, whom you soon learn is the princess's mother, Queen Camilla. Um, and she's asking her servants about preparations for the, for the, uh, for the uh, masquerade. Let me find something here. Um, the preparations for the masquerade. And, you know, everyone's talking about how, how well the, uh, the preparations are going. Um, I can't find the one I want. That's fine. Um, and uh, eventually, uh, the scene closes. Hmm. Curtains close again. Curtains open again. This is now the masquerade. 
you see people dancing around the floor. Um, high, strange, baroque music plays as they dance. Uh, the mother and and uh, daughter, the queen and the princess, sit upon thrones, watching the ensemble of guests. Um, uh, they seem to know everyone by name as they approach, uh, and and C Casilda flirts with some and rejects others and teases some that maybe you know maybe you'll be the one and you know it sort of goes through a whole almost romantic comedy um, situation till finally the uh, the stranger, the one in the mat in the paper mask arrives. And they don't seem to know who this person is. Um, and let me just find one last thing. Um, they get into a bit of an argument. And in the end, the stranger tells her that no, well, she, she she demands that, that he remove the mask, and he refuses at first. She insists again that he remove the mask and responds, my lady, I cannot. This is no mask. This is my face. Several of the people uh, gathered around scream in horror. The princess screams as well. A chorus rises. People, guards and such, step forward. Uh, well, actually, I'm sorry, yeah, women, the, the women in the crowd all step forward and they begin to sing. This is getting intense. Along the shore, the cloud waves break. The twin suns sink behind the lake. The shadows lengthen in Carcosa. Strange is the night where black stars rise and strange moons circle through the skies but stranger yet is lost Carcosa. Song that the Hyades shall sing when flap the tatters of the king must die unheard in dim Carcosa. Songs of my soul, my voice is dead. Die though unsung as tears unshed shall dry and die in lost Carcosa. And the room goes black, utterly completely black all of you feel dizzy for a moment um i've had a well, too much to drink i think this is yeah. a little uh, it's yeah. still pitch black and as you're sitting there you start to realize you're not hearing anything no rustling of papers no breathing no one else whispering but you this can't be good so can I hear any, I can't hear any of the people that I was with. Yes. Any, any, oh, so if I, any of the four of you talk, you, you, you hear each other, but um, what's is everyone, on? Okay? is everyone okay? Yeah. 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 I feel really no, kind I, of too I drunk for I that. had too much champagne. I am feeling dizzy. I reached in and grabbed my mag light that you said I had. Mm -hmm. And click. You appear to be in the theater. Um, as I described it earlier, uh, everything remains the same except for no lights on, obviously. Um, uh, you don't see the lights, like the, the, the lights that were hung up or on any of the scaffolding or whatnot. None of that is there, and you see no people at all. The place like is no, utterly empty. Like Are nobody there, else but us? Where did nobody all of but the you. people go? Are there okay. other chairs? Or There are other empty? chairs. They're empty. Okay, uh, everyone, take a deep breath. I, and calm down. How drunk am I? I only had like two <laughs> glasses of champagne. Oh my God. This wait, is wait, 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 good advice. Wait. Deep breath. Sophie, did you slip something? I told you it has to come out of the earth. My a grandmother said, Ava, oh, Ava, are we drunk? Is this, I mean, is, is this, Ava, this is a magic trick of somehow. Just take a moment, let your brain work. And we'll figure this My out. brain works really, really fast, and this is not normal. But this, where are all the people? Sophie, all of the. Did you put a roofie in my drink, like, I, like if you, if we, like. Did you like, roofie my drink? Who? Like, I heard okay. about this thing called. I'm looking. Ecstasy, at, I look up at the ceiling. I do fine. 
Um, I'm in the same no, situation as you, Ava. If I did it to you, I did it to myself. But also, no. Did you do it to yourself that too? That is a lie they teach you in high school. Okay. I think I'm finished with this. Let's get up and go. Okay. I got a but, flashlight. Are yeah, we gonna, we're leaving. I'm, I'm with you. Let's just leave. Are, are we leaving? Like she's still like back. latched on to Jason now. Like yeah, her yeah. gotten tighter now because she's like <laughs> really okay. panicking. Right, right. Let, let's get up, but keep on your guard. Um, and right. kind of head toward the way we came in. Okay, that's I. You, I you got your mag I, light. Yeah. I assume I've got. Do I have a little flashlight with me? As oh well? yeah, I mean all of Team Spooky. Mag equipment. lights would be yeah. Standard, yeah. yeah, yeah. Standard equipment yeah. for Team Spooky. I'll, I'll take. Uh, I'll, I'll take the rear, Felix. Is that good? It, it's standard equipment for X Files slash. Right, yeah, it's, requisite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not Ava. We watched that show <laughs> and took notes. We're like, what do they have? Okay. Oh, that's so funny because that would be yeah. my inspiration too. So clearly, I would have you know in my pocket somewhere. But yeah. But I'm, I'm but I'm, I'm, I'm ripping like you do realize that your record your recorder is still running as well. right um, right and then I I'm leaving that going okay let's let's stick together put the hands on the shoulder don't split make, up make your way back out through you, know, you part the felt stairs go up mm -hmm. and you step out in tonight except for it's not your night guys the, seriously. What is the this? air smells of, of a bit briny as before, but but this time there's an acidic undertone that almost hurts your nose a little bit when you breathe. The sky is a strange hue of dark purples and blacks. In it, uh, you see stars, unlike any that you would normally see in, in New York City. You see white glowing stars and then you see in the purple sky black stars swirling almost you see two moons rising above what could be the harbor or a lake or or so an ocean and be and, and in front of that are the black obsidian buildings towers strangely shaped that rise up all around you. This isn't Brooklyn. Okay. So, Sophie, is this what is this let what me, cocaine let me, does? Let me, let me just is this check. What, I just want to make what sure that I'm not does. tripping. Does, does everyone see two moves? I I just yeah. want to know: Did we take some acid? And I don't remember. <laughs> did we all have a drink? Did we all have a drink at the bar? I, yes. I had a drink. It was like like choking. My arm is falling asleep I, from her I'm grip. I'm dying slowly on the inside okay. because. Let's let's take a deep breath. Let's let's spitball some ideas. Please. All right. Well, what do we I'm going to pause you all there um, because it is, it is 9:55. So uh, we're going to we're actually so going to wait to the next next so next screwed. step uh, next session. We'll we'll open with your your uh, alienation tests and see how. All right, goes. that's great. Great place um, to stop. When you walk into a different environment, that's when it's time to stop the show. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Oh, this was How fun. Not, in, not in Kansas anymore. I can tell you that. Or that's New York right. State. Yeah. Or Earth. I don't think we're on Earth. <laughs> or Milky Way. Yeah, Galaxy. I think we're. Yeah, we're not on Earth. We're on not the planet of existence. <laughs> Well, now that I've got my fancy jacket, I, I suppose that we should, uh, yeah, round it out and say, um, you know, this has been an actual play. We are, uh, hey, Ian, do, you know, do we know how many of these we're going to do? Um, I, I would think 20? maybe two. Yeah, sure. Uh, no, um, well, well, we'll start with uh, this one, which would probably be, I'm guessing, two more sessions. Um, okay, great. It'll sort of depend which way you all take it. Um but uh, yeah, probably two more sessions, and, uh, this. and if we want to do things beyond that, we'll talk. Sounds good. Sounds yeah, good. I, well, yeah, go I ahead. Just making it. <laughs> yes, Joseph, we made it. We made it through the first episode. All the researchers <laughs> you know, yeah. that just got sealed the deal of her life. Like she's ready yeah. to get to be a superstar, and suddenly I here know, we are. We gotta get you Who's to that die? audition, Anna. <laughs> I'm Ava's so car saved you all from now. the one encounter, though, because because you know the, the, those thugs were supposed to you know try and drag uh, Sophie off, but uh, boob, you had the car. Boob you know. money does one. Yeah, boob yeah. money here takes volume. Well, you know, now that you think about it, maybe the, the thugs weren't so bad. I mean, dragging me, you know, <laughs> yeah, getting drunk <laughs> off and beating up Andy in the hospital. Might yeah, not yeah, ended up in the hospital as opposed to here. Yeah, <laughs> 
Yeah, this is great. I'm looking forward to it. I, I love all of our characters. They're so fun to kind of interact with. And I think we all kind of kind of fill out a little space that we can, you know, kind of bounce off each other. This is great. This is a lot of fun. Um, hey, so folks who are watching this uh, on demand, or maybe you're hanging out with us right now, one of the folks who have been giving us all of these really amazing compliments um, and warning us as to our doom, um, you know, uh, glad you like the jacket, courtesy of Ava. I like it as well. Um, we will be back next Thursday. It's Thursday, right? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. It's Thursday. Yep. And um, we're going to be doing, I think we're going to be doing a, a, a little, I, we want to talk about doing it an hour earlier, I think, is, is for next week. Is that right? We? Yeah. I don't think you were here for that discussion. Uh, we will plot about that discussion probably after this stream. When we're not being, uh, you know, uh, amazing role players uh, streaming online, we have like kids and families and other things going on. So, uh, but we'll keep everyone apprised of that um, in the interim. Uh, make sure you go and check out our um, Kickstarter, Cthulhu Awakens. If you have not signed up yet, you are, you're going to want to do that. Um, I think that we are, uh, I, in a fit, I closed all of my tabs. And so... Um, <laughs> Couldn't tell you. I have mine closed too. I had it open oh, earlier. No. I did too. I was like, I'm going to leave this open. And then suddenly I'm like, why do I have 80,000 tabs open? But um, the uh, Kickstarter has uh, right now, I believe we're about 20 days left. And we are just on the precipice of, here we go, $68,000, 961 bucks. Um, that means that we are right on the edge of getting the weirdness um, uh, overflowing. And, we, and I need it. I need it. I want the weirdness overflowing. So we'll uh, we'll provide updates for everybody, but you want to get in. If you want to be able to brag to folks that you brought the weird, this is the time for you to get in on the Kickstarter. Uh, 20 days left, but um, we'll come back with some more Cthulhu Awakens with this incredible crew. Hey, folks, would you just do a quick inter uh, introduction of yourself, and then, uh, and then we'll close out for the night. We'll start with you, uh, Ava. Hi, I am May Hemmer. I am a burlesque dancer, cosplayer, and costumer. Um, you can usually catch me throwing shade and foolishness on Instagram, Twitter, and face cracks. And I am also the burlesque producer for Dragon Con now. So um, nice. come yeah. yeah. So go ahead and um, give me a like and a follow for all the shenanigans and hot Lana this summer. Nice. Pride check. Hi, Joseph Ford. Um, I just work a mundane high tech job, and I uh, my passion, my hobby is uh, my gaming group, uh, Mass Massachusetts Adventure Society. Or uh, stop by Facebook or our Facebook page, check us out. We're all into uh, original uh, storytelling through tabletop gaming. Nice, Sophie. Uh, hi, I'm Shoshana or Shoshi. Uh, you can find me Wednesday mornings slash afternoon, depending on what coast you're on, on uh, the Twitch channel Nat21 Adventures. Uh, sometimes I play games there as well. Uh, you can find if you just Google Shoshana Ruth Green, you'll find you'll find me out there. So uh, I'm, I'm an actor in Los Angeles. Uh, I just finished a show, so I don't have anything to promote yet. Uh, go to Dragon Con. <laughs> nice, yeah. It sounds like Dragon Con. Yeah, it's going to be the place to be. Um, I have included all of the information for uh, these folks, and myself included. I'm Troy. I'm the community nerd for uh, Green Ronin Publishing, and I get to do this kind of amazing stuff for a living. Drink wine and hanging out with you know fabulous friends, and you know uh, finding cosmic uh, evil. I mean, why not? Uh, that's a great job. Um, I really do get paid for that. That's amazing. And then uh, Ian, go ahead. Oh, uh, my name is Ian Lemke. I'm the developer for um, for the Expanse role playing game for Green Ronin, uh, which has its own cosmic horror, um, and also the Talisman Adventures fantasy role playing game. Uh, and I am also working on my own game called Nevermore, which is a game nice. of American Gothic horror. Cool. So, uh, you know, so I need to either do like burlesque or boylesque, I guess, or um, or maybe some maybe like a like a horror boylesque. That's a thing. There's so Good many Lord. genres of burlesque and boylesque is very much a thing. Well, friends, I say you probably want to tune in next Thursday where Jason's going to get a little weird. All right. <laughs> I, I, I really want to know what that the latter is because I'm not sure. But Jacket you know. goes on. Jacket, Jacket goes on. on. Yeah, and that's when the horror really begins. Reverse boylesque 
it, reverse burlesque is a thing where you start out just in whatever and then put your clothes back on. You won't know until you tune in. Am I going to be? <laughs> which way am I going? And where does the horror come in? Like that. These are all questions <laughs> that will be answered at our next stream. We'll see you. Uh, uh, stay tuned for uh, updates on time and all that. Thank you, everyone. This has been a, a total blast. Um, we will uh, talk to you all soon. Bye-bye. Miss you. Kiss you.